everyone, Niamh here, and today I am going to kind of talk about and go over my spiritual planners and also kind of regular planners. <laughs> um, so uh, actually, let's start there. So um, I am not, I, I want to be a planner, bullet journal kind of person, but I've learned that I'm really just... Um, not or I just haven't found or I hadn't found the right um right planner or system for me if that makes sense <laughs> so I have this old one um and this is something that I've made and uh, I never finished it that's why it there's no uh, actual uh, cover for this uh it's because uh, my plan for this and I, I created this in 2018 it's 2022 now but um my plan for this was that I was going to create each individual month. Uh, I printed off dotted paper um, and I was going to make each individual month. I even did the artwork for this, uh, everything. Um, and then uh, sew it together. And, um, and then the next month I would attach to this and um, and yada yada and then I would finish and uh, once I did like a year or half a year I don't know how many I was gonna make uh, then I was gonna create the cover and basically it would be a book that I could look through later um, love the idea um, and this was when I was really starting to get into bullet journaling um, so this was July of 2018 um, I think I even have a little signature somewhere or because I, I did this artwork and then I printed it out on photo paper uh, so that because I didn't want to keep the artwork in this and that's uh, my goal was to uh, because I also have an art channel um, I was thinking okay I can this gives me content I can create art as part of this bullet journal thing and um, I'm also uh, staying organized and yada yada um, but it just didn't pan out for me like I wanted to like I started to do a daily schedule weekly schedule I, I, I see how fancy this is <laughs> All right, let me let me zoom in a little bit here. So like, yeah, it, it just I, I wanted to do all this like fancy you know pull out things and cool chore chart things and water habit and you know things like that and um, I I love the idea of it. It's just I don't use it. Like this first month, yeah, I kind of used it. But then I, I didn't, what I also didn't like about doing this is I felt like it was a gigantic waste of scrapbook paper, of <laughs> washi tape, um, you know, things like that. And it's just, um, and I didn't even use this. There was so much that I didn't use. Um, yeah, it, it was very, I like the idea of it, but um, yeah, so this was, you know, I was trying to track my YouTube channels too. Um, my Neve Creates is my art channel, which I haven't posted to in like three or four years. <laughs> Neve Learns is my genealogy slash languages channel, which I also have not posted to in a very, very long time. Um, and then I was doing a pagan tracker and as you can see, filled out nothing. Uh, I made a little tarot thing here to record readings that I do and things like that but I, there was like one reading in this and it just didn't pan out <laughs> so I got rid of the um and this was like meal planning but I didn't even use these <laughs> you know so it, it just didn't um it didn't work for me so then the next month and I made the next month I went to all steampunk and um did the same sort of pull out thing very cool um I just and did, did gears for the chores and the hat for the water tracker. Um, I mean, it was super creative and I like looking at it, but it it just it was kind of useless for me. <laughs> you know, like yeah, it was fun to create it, but also time consuming. And then it was just kind of irritating that it just it didn't I didn't use it. And as you can tell, I didn't put uh, the YouTube channels and the pagan tracker and things like that and in, in this the witchy tracker um, Because I didn't use it and this was a time in my life that I, I That area of my life just was kind of dormant. So yeah um, I love this month. Uh, I went with a sewing theme. So it's fun to look through some of this stuff, but 
it's just, I didn't use this and it felt like a big waste of paper. I could have used the washi tape and the paper. Um, I do like that I, I sewed down the edges of these. Um, like I could have used this stuff for more permanent projects, if that makes sense. Like the, the planning type stuff, it, I don't go through this and like look through this normally. This is a little pocket. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a little fun to look through now, but like I could have used the stuff on more permanent projects. And that that's what kind of bugs me about this is I, I really, really like the way this looked. And sure, it was fun to put this together, also time consuming, <laughs> but um, I wish I could have used this stuff for something else. Now this last month, this is the one I went all out on this and this is this is gorgeous. Um, I never actually did artwork for this yet. Um, this was going to be uh, because this month was um, this month was September. This was October, my birth month and you know and it's also uh, Samhain month and Halloween month and things like that. So I even though Samhain actually means November, but <laughs> but you know, I hadn't created the artwork for it uh, yet. Um, or ever really but um this one I went all out and I really decorated the backgrounds um with uh, uh alcohol markers and it as you can see absolutely nothing is in this <laughs> I did the moons and everything like this one turned out gorgeous October 2018 um then the next month's uh little calendar super super gorgeous loved the way this looked uh, let me pull it this way I'll get a little pocket here. This was for Inktober. I was gonna track that. Obviously did not track it. <laughs> um, this I was gonna do something with, I can't remember. Uh, I think these planets were going to be tracking something. I don't know. But it, I mean, the art on this month was fantastic. And the creativity was um, in my mind through the roof. And this was my mood tracker. And I, I also kept a, a a moon tracker to go with that um yeah but I clearly did not use this at all and once I created this that's when I knew doing this was just not gonna work for me I like yeah I am an artist I am creative and yes it was fun but it was completely non-functional for me so I didn't really touch planners or bullet journals or things like that again until the beginning of this year. And I really researched what I wanted to do. Oh, actually I used a planner last year and I forgot to grab that one. Um, it was the Practical Witches Planner, I believe. And I'll put a, a picture of that planner on uh, on the screen, plus the, um, the art that I did for that book because it was actually kind of a coloring book, sort of. Um, I mean, it wasn't, it's not marketed as, as a coloring book, but it was black and white and you can, and the, um, the author, uh, F, uh, F Gladstar or Gladheart, something like that. <laughs> She's actually on my Facebook, but, um, she created that and she, uh, when I had posted the, my coloring of one of the things in her book, um, she had said that she had really hoped that people would, uh, color in her book so um what i ended up doing was scanning that and then printing it on bristol board and then uh using um i think it, i used colored pencils mostly um for that one and it turned out lovely i loved it um but i mean it's it's for 2021 so i, I don't i mean i'm not really interested in hanging a calendar for 2021 <laughs> permanently on my wall you know so <laughs> Um, I, I don't exactly know what to do with it. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I used that planner for uh, pretty much all of 2021. And I found that for the most part, that planner was working for me. And I think a lot of it was because it was already done. It was, I, I didn't have to create anything. And, and I feel like when I, I think for me, when I feel like I have to create something, that's when I sort of lose interest in it and, um, and it becomes a chore, you know, it doesn't become fun for me anymore. Um, and so, yeah, like some of the stuff in that planner was fun to create, 
but like it was super time consuming and then I felt like I had like I felt like I was planning around planning if that makes sense um so I liked that this planner was just already done and all I had to do I could use it as a straight planner I didn't have to record you know my moods and things like you know, like I, I felt pressured to record that kind of stuff that I, I really just didn't care about <laughs> like recording um anyway so um but I had some issues with it uh that book one um all because it was kind of a combination almanac slash planner um I think I needed something that was more focused on the planning part because the spaces for each day uh, in the week because it was a weekly planner um they were too small um I figured that out the spaces were just a little too small for me I needed something bigger um and the almanac stuff I didn't read any of it <laughs> like maybe here and there but like it's all, all witchy stuff which is great but um I mean I've been a witch for well over 20 years so a lot of the stuff that was in it um I don't know it just didn't pique my interest because you know it would be great for a newbie witch or something like that but anyway so for this year I wanted to use that inspiration and I looked at so many other planners and I almost bought several of them but I ended up what was frustrating me is that every single planner I was coming across didn't quite fit the bill there was something missing from it so what I decided to do was create my own <laughs> and I went into Photoshop and uh, I decided that I wanted this to be an A5 planner um, and I created layouts and stuff that I thought would work for me um, and since the weeklies worked out very well for me in my previous planner I decided to go with that but gave me more space so the weekly took over two spaces uh, in fact, uh, here is the book that I made. Um, this is, I created this entire book. Um, the only thing I didn't create, I mean, I didn't create the scrapbook. I mean, the scrapbook paper. Um, I, um, the scrapbook ca paper came from various paper packs um, that I uh, glued on here. Uh, it's a little scuffed up because it's always open. So it's, it's getting a little bit of a scuff here. Um, and then there's washi tape here. Um, here's it's a little scuffed up here but um, all around I made this out of chipboard um, and uh, yeah chipboard and then glued scrapbook paper to it um, very nice uh, the inside is like this and there's a pocket right here washi tape uh, I bought uh, a pack of these came with two I believe but these are um, a bit of a pain in the butt um, because the screws you can only screw and unscrew a few times before the screws start to lose their uh, like they start to lose the spirals around it um and this one's fine I, I would I'm not going to undo it ever because I'm afraid it won't go back together because the other one that I created which I have shown on um my channel before this one I had to tie it to here because this I the the screws lost their um I can't think of the, you know, the, the phrase, <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, and I could not screw it in anymore. It just would not screw in anymore. Um, and I cannot find, uh, compatible screws anywhere. I thought I found some, bought a whole pack of them and they didn't fit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's, it's very, very irritating. Um, but anyway, so this one's fine. Um, so I decided to create my own. I bought some of the planner pages from Etsy. Uh, this I created. Um, so this I bought. Uh, if I can remember when I edit, I'm going to link down below where I got some of these inserts. And this says Hourglass Planners from Etsy. So uh, I got that from Etsy, the 2022 year at a glance. And then uh, the moon phases, and I also got other astrological stuff that I ended up putting in my spiritual journal. Um, but, oh man, it got dark in here all of a sudden. Hopefully the camera's right. Okay, so um, it came, uh, this one was, let me see what it is, jnp.co, I think is what that says. I, I'm not wearing my glasses, so. Um, but that this is super helpful. Um, and I had it in Irish, uh, my my... All the stuff I have in Irish, uh, Inar is January, uh, and that was working out perfectly. Uh, I didn't keep a lot of the stuff in because 
one of the thing one of the things that kind of made this not work for me and why, why I switched it up a mid year uh, is because I was using too much paper. So uh, after by the end of June, this thing was packed. So it was only fitting six months worth. And I made tabs for twelve months. I mean, I and I made these on my Cricut, all the all the tabs and stuff. Um, I, I need to like double them because they're a little thin. Um, so the tabs kind of bend a bit too much, but, um, yeah, so I made all the tabs, uh, uh all the folders in it. Um, I'm not going to show that cause that's my expense tracker. This also came from, uh, an Etsy shop, uh, which is, it's not in Irish obviously. So February or Faura, um, and and I made all these stickers too with my Cricut. Uh, oops. Okay. Um, yeah, Marta. And I didn't leave the, I didn't leave the, uh, um, the weeks in here because uh, the, like I said, they were taking up too much space. And so at the end of June, I took out pretty much everything from the previous uh, months. Uh, a brawn for April. Here's Bieltana for May. And I found that I wasn't quite using the month tracker very month, very much. And if you can see, I what I did with these is I um I made them in Photoshop where that they are basically one centimeter by one centimeter uh, squares here. And um, I printed off the stickers. So basically every month, all I have to do is print off the papers. And then I have the stickers to match. So the, the months that are up here are actually stickers. Um, and then everything in here is stickers that are one centimeter uh, stickers for the moons. Um, I was recording some of the tarot readings I was doing because they were supposed, to, my idea was that they were going to reference my spiritual journal so you could look in there. Um, but I found that I'm not quite using the month um, layout very much. Um, I'm still going to keep it because I still might start using it. Uh, I do like the system, the grid system. It's where I just put the stickers for what things are. And my idea was to write down here, uh, kind of a key or something. So, uh, keep blocking the expense trackers. All right. So Mehef is, uh, June. Um, and so this is the current month or was the current month. Uh, we're now in July. Um, I'm going to block the, so what I was doing, cause these I kept in June, I kept in, uh, I was doing uh, a cover sheet for the weeks. Shakta means weeks. And, uh, um, this day to this day, uh, M E I is uh, short for Mehev, which means June. Um, and then I'm going to show this, but I guess I'll block anything that might be private when, uh, when I edit, um, all right, so what I was doing, I'm recording uh, when I have my menstrual cycle, um, and uh, I was using the the week layout here, um, my pills, and if I exercise, which obviously this week I did not, <laughs> um, and anything that I had planned to do, uh, my weekly tasks, taskana, that means tasks, and the days are in Irish, uh, de Luan, de Mart, de Cadeen, Jardin, de Hina, uh, de Saturn, de Downa. Um, and you know, as I was doing this, I, I realized that maybe I should start writing the things in here in Irish too. I don't know, maybe, um, to, to, to get better at my art, or I mean, uh, not my art, <laughs> my, uh, my Irish. Um, so, um, so I, I was listing everything I was planning on doing that day in here, including the chores, yada, yada. Uh, over here, I had stickers that I got from a shop. Uh, I will try to remember to link the shop that I got these stickers from. Uh, they These I printed at home and, and cut out on my Cricut. Uh, these were YouTube stickers, and I was posting whatever video I was uploading that day was going right here. Any work I was doing for videos would go in here. So like this one, Film Intuitive Night Goddess uh, Walkthrough. But that day, I'm uploading the Forest of Enchantment Deep Dive number 13. Um, and then I had, uh, uh, little stickers over here to record dishes and devotionals. Um, these were actually backup stickers. I had much nicer ones from the same shop that I got these ones from for the previous months. Uh, but I ran out and I could have print off more, but I had these kind of backup ones, uh, a cheap kit that I got on Amazon. Um, they were too tiny though. Uh, and then my, uh, weekly chores there. 
Now, and then after that, I had lehenta, which means days, and the same uh, grouping, like this day through this day. And then I had my dailies here. And here's what was different from last year, because last year I just had weeklies. Um, so this year started dailies. Um, and the reason I decided to do, to add in dailies was because of the schedule. This helped me immensely. Um, I had this, having this schedule right here, uh, an hourly schedule really, really helps me. Um, my brain clicks with this. My problem with these dailies and, you know, I have one for each and every <laughs> day. And then at the end of the day, I have the note that means notes. So, uh, notes page, um, and then the beginning of the next week. Um, the dailies are in thinner paper and the weeklies are a thicker, like cardstock type paper. Um, what I did not like about the dailies is everything else. <laughs> I just liked the hourly part. Um, yeah, uh, this helped me a lot. Uh, but everything else I felt like was repeating this because anything I put in priorities, I would put over here on where, when I'm getting it done. So it just felt like repeating. And then the checklist, I use this as a checklist. Um, and then, I mean, notes are fine because if there's added things, um, and because I, I was planning on doing some of the door art uh, for our kitchen door um, going into my ritual room. Um, yeah, I, I have that planned right here, but you know, the notes it elaborated what I was doing that day. So the notes part was fine, but these two parts were basically just this again. So that wasn't working for me, but the hourly thing definitely was. The other thing that I decided was not very working for me so much was that this was all, you know, these pages are just taking up too much. Um, it's, you know, essentially seven pages, well, one, two, three, four pages front and back um, of the same, essentially the same things I'm putting in here. Like this is the tasks I need to do each day or what I'm planning on doing that day. And this is it planned out for the hours. Um, the hour thing is working for me. If this works for me too, but it's a repeat of that. So, um, and I do this for, you know, each week was like that. And I started to uh, put my tarot readings in here too. Um, that was something I was beginning to do, uh, so, so that I had a use for those spaces. Um, so what I ended up doing for July, for, uh, Yule, is, um, reworking this. So this is my, you know, mid mid-year rework. <laughs> um, and I hope this is interesting for you and not boring. So there was a lot of things I wanted changed. Um, so before I get into that, I want to discuss my spiritual journal. This is beautiful and I love it, but it's not working for me. <laughs> um, so I will block off whatever I don't want shown. Um, so here's the rest of that astrological information that, um, I had in here, but I ended up moving to my spiritual journey journal. Um, yeah, so... I moved all that over here. It just made more sense. It, I got the same uh, moon calendar right here that I printed on the back of my cover page. Um, and I kept the moon calendar over there. Um, and this was my year ahead. The Norman reading. Um, yeah. So, and then like this was my readings for uh, every reading that I was doing. And I really liked it for like January and February. But... Then I just stopped doing it. And the reason is because it's just a lot of work. <laughs> um, I, I just, I don't have the time for this. Um, I like to be creative, but like I said, when it starts to feel like I have to be creative, then it becomes a chore and I stop liking it. And that was the case for me for, uh, this, um, for this book. Um, yeah, I loved what I was doing with this, like, you know, my, my new moon Morrigan reading here and uh, uh, my ancestor 
readings. I, I really like these pages. I, I want to keep this book and I want to add more to it. Um, I was also adding, um, cause I got the, uh, Bridget readings along with, uh, an in bulk ritual that I did with the Irish pagan school. Um, and then my Bridget reading here. Um, and then, uh, my deep dive for the Pacific Northwest tarot. Hope the light's okay. <laughs> Let me turn on the flash thing. <laughs> so, um, oh, and some of this was, uh, uh, some of that was private. So I'll, I'll block out whatever, uh, is private. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, I, I loved it and I love how it looks. It's super cool, uh, and very nice and clean and neat, but it's, it's just kind of a pain in the ass to keep up with. And, um, for February, I did like, nothing well i did a couple readings um i mostly the pacific northwest stuff um and uh my full moon and new moon readings <clears throat> for march i did one reading <clears throat> and it was like the first introduction of my wise dog tarot and and that was it i didn't even do my new moon or full moon reading so that was it for uh, um <clears throat> that month sorry about my throat and for April, all I have is the picture of my Morgan reading. I didn't even print out or uh, finish typing up the other part. And I found that this was just not working for me because, uh, you know, I when I do my uh, tarot readings, I have like a spiral, like a um, kind of one of those uh, um, for school, um, super lots of spirals. Uh, <laughs> the name of it is a uh, composition notebook. I have a composition notebook, so super not creative at all. Just writing down what it is. And frankly, that's kind of my tarot journal <laughs> for the most part. Um, so this was not working for me, but I wanted to get a better daily practice um, for tarot. So... Um, so moving back to uh, this, I got, I recreated my practical planner uh, instead of, uh, because I was starting to do the tarot readings in here on these, in these sections, but they're, they just, it wasn't very practical. So in, for July, for Yule, um, shocked, so I switched it to Shaktana, which means weeks. And I printed it on the thinner paper. So I got rid of the dailies, but I kind of combined that hourly setup with my weekly layout sort of thing. So I went vertical. <laughs> and uh, some of this I messed up already. I uh, had to use some white out with. Um, so every day at uh, about 8 o'clock is my uh, devotions and morning uh, tarot readings. And what I've been doing lately... What I've been doing lately is um, I set aside each day of the week for a different deity um, because I, I honor uh, four main Irish deities um, and I do very much honor two uh, uh, Hindu deities um, uh, that I'm very attached to and have been for uh, well over 20 years. So um, my relationship with them uh, is, of course, separate from my relationship with uh, the Irish deities, which is kind of the main focus of my spirituality. But there are two Hindu deities that I follow, um, as well as uh, four main Irish deities, but um, I do frequently uh, uh, try to form relationships with other Irish deities and some Welsh deities. Um, each each one I, I try to approach um, as um, respectfully as possible. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to use my words correctly here, but um, yeah, I, I it's not, for me, it's, it's not, um, what am I trying to say? It's not a novelty. It, it's something I'm very serious about. Uh, so I, I, I try to have a right relationship with um, these various deities. Um, so on, uh, so I've, in my mornings, I've been doing uh, a three card reading for uh, one deity per day. And I, I kind of planned out which ones I would do, um, which I'll discuss when I do my new spiritual journal. <laughs> um, and then at nine, I have breakfast. 
Um, and while I'm having breakfast, I, I'm on YouTube and things like that. At 10, I plan out exercise so that I actually do it. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean I always do it. And if I don't, I, I, I won't. Um, and I'll also check off the exercise box because I have my pills and uh, exercise down here. Um, then um, that takes up kind of 10 and 11 because at 11 I might uh, I might take a shower uh, if I need to or um, I'll go back to YouTube for a little bit, uh, have lunch, and then work uh, do work. Uh, so uh, right here I have edit, edit um, at 3 o'clock, uh, 1500. Um, I am planning on filming uh, this, uh, which I'm actually doing early because I wrote this. To, I was planning on filming this on Monday, De Lewin, uh, but um, I changed my mind and I did it today. So, <laughs> um, and then edit, and then my bath. My this is um, my weekly chore here that I'm doing at five seventeen hundred. And then um, at the bottom, I wrote tarot at ten p.m. Even though it's at uh, seven o'clock, uh, nineteen hundred because um, I, I didn't want to do all the uh, hours till then because I basically end my day at about six o'clock. Um, so I just put in the last little bit here to say at nighttime, I do another tarot reading. And this one is not for a deity. This is just my own personal uh, end of day reflection. Um, the middle card is uh, an oracle card. It's the end of the day. Uh, the card to the left of it is um, what to release for the next day? What from today should I release? And then car, the card to the right is what should I embrace for the next for tomorrow for the next day? Um, so that's what I've been doing, um, and it's been going very well. Uh, here's my taskana, my list, uh, my uh, weekly chores. Uh, I did notice that this the bottom line kind of cut off a little bit, so I did edit it in Photoshop. So for the next month, uh, there will be a line all the way across. I, I brought I brought the whole thing up just a little bit. Um, then I have a notes section, noti, and I have a notes section here too. So kind of notes for these three days, kind of notes for these days here. Um, hopefully I'm still in frame. And then, um, yeah, so I have the daily schedule for the hourly schedule for uh, the day, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then for Saturday and Sunday, uh, it's not an hourly schedule because I found that I was not using the, for the most part, I wasn't using the uh, dailies for uh, Saturday or Sunday, uh, day Saturn and day Downa. Um, so instead I left it blank so that I can fill in what whatever I wanted to do there. Um, and so I have a section right here, upload and here on each day here i'm listing what i'm uploading that day um since i have other youtube channels so i haven't posted to them in a long time um i could also use that i could potentially if i was using all of my youtube channels uh use each section i'm going to turn off that light now because the the light shifted in here <laughs> and i can see again okay so um yeah so this will be my new layout for uh for um, my practical planner. And also in this section here, uh, I made those four uh, one centimeter squares and then I have the day in stickers right here. And uh, right here is a full moon on the 13th. So uh, I am planning on doing something here. Um, on the 14th through the 18th, we'll be on vacation. Um, so, and, and then I started writing loan instead of lunch because I was like, you know, after I wrote the Tascana here, I was thinking I should start writing these in Irish. And as I was filling this out, I started to write loan for breakfast or for lunch. And uh, I didn't think about that until after I had already wrote breakfast. Um, so maybe in this one, I'll write brick fasta, brick fasta, brick fasta, brick fasta, then whatever the Irish word for devotions is, because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, here's the new moon. And I wrote down in notes, new moon, Leo. Uh, things like that. So that's my new uh, layout for uh, the next six months. I'm going to I'm going to use this layout for the next six months unless I absolutely hate it. Um, then, you know, I'll figure out something else for the next month. So uh, this was my old spiritual journal. I'm still going to use it. It's just I'm going to take time with printing stuff out and I'll I'll print out um, just important readings that I do. Maybe I'll, I'll eventually, uh, I, I'll take the pressure off, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'm taking the pressure off um, 
of having to uh, recreate these uh, these readings in um, Microsoft Word again, because <laughs> that's basically what I'm using for this, Microsoft Word. Um, and I'm taking the pressure off, and then that way I can add to it when I want to, you know? <laughs> Um, so what I got to replace the spiritual journal, I got the magic of eye <laughs> planner. Um, and I'm sure, I mean, this has been covered and gone through so many times on YouTube and it half the year is already gone. So, you know, there's a bit smudged right there. Um, half the year is already gone. Uh, so this was half off. <laughs> So like the first half of this, I, I'm not even using because it, uh, you know, it's already elapsed. Um, but I did uh, put my birth chart in here. I, I started to draw it in here, uh, but I had messed up and I, I'm so upset with myself because I went, I really planned this out so that I would not mess it up and I messed it up. So I ended up just printing off my uh, birth chart. Uh, and this was when our printer ink was actually quite low. So I had to go over it again with pen. Um, so I then I cut it out and I pasted it over here. So yeah, so that is my birth chart there. Uh, I'm a Libra, Moon in Capricorn and Cancer Rising. Um, love this book. Um, there's a lot about this that I really, really like. There's so much great information in this and things that um, I can really tap into. Such a great resource. Um, very, very good. Um, but I wasn't going to use this as a planner. I'm using this specifically to record my daily uh, tarot readings, uh, my morning readings and my nighttime readings, along with my new moon, full moon, and I'm going to start doing quarter moon uh, readings as well. So, and I'm going to show a little bit of that if, I don't think there's anything in here that's actually private. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show this. This is, uh, this past week I haven't done, uh, cause today is Saturday that I'm filming this on a Saturday. Um, so the only thing I don't like is cause I like that I get a whole section for each day except for Saturday and Sunday, I don't get a full section. And because I'm doing two readings a day, um, I split each one in half like that. So I do my morning reading on the, uh, this side and then my nightly reading on this side um, and yada yada. But for Saturday and Sunday, uh, what I've decided to do instead, I went over to this weekly goals, uh, um, like weekly goals page. And it says week one, week two, week three, week four. And instead I cut those in half and um, my morning readings for each uh, Saturday is right here. And my nightly reading or my morning readings for each Sunday are right here. So morning for Saturday, morning for Sunday, um, night for Saturday, night for Sunday. So, I mean, it's a bit wonky. It's not pretty. I'm not trying to make this pretty. Um, it's just recording in, in a simple way to record and I can go back and look through and I don't feel like I'm wasting a whole bunch of like stickers and washi tape and scrapbook paper and things like that. All the information is already in here for me. Uh, love it. Um, and this section, uh, I can't remember what it was used for, something frou-frou. <laughs> um, but this section I'm using for a, my first quarter reading, which I'm going to do for uh, on Dagda, and for my last quarter reading, I'm going to do with Lou. Um, and yeah, so, and they also have a section for the uh, full moon, or I mean, new moon and full moon, and I'm going to cover this a little bit because uh, this is for On Morrigan. So I do my new moon readings with On Morrigan, I do my um, full moon readings with Breach, and there's a nice full page for me to record my, my uh, new moon and full moon readings, which are more extensive. Um, so yeah, uh, this is actually, I mean, I've just started using it this way, but this is working for me. Um, I am liking this. Uh, it's not perfect. Um, like I said, I kind of have to jerry-rig it a bit because um, this was a weekly goals and monthly goals and tensions, things like that. This kind of stuff is useless for me. I, like, I don't, I don't record this kind of stuff. Um, it's totally fine if other people record this kind of stuff and it's very helpful for, for them, but this kind of stuff is not helpful for me. 
I rather just use this th to record my readings. Um, now I was going to, uh, um, I was, you know, kind of looking at different planners, uh, possible planners that I would use uh, for this, um, for this purpose. And I almost went with, what is it called? Um, oh my gosh. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, I'll put it on the screen if I remember. I was going to go with that one, uh, but the price was full price. And whereas this one was half price because I'd already gone through half the year. Oh man, this table is so dirty and it really scuffed up my book. Ah, I'm in my husband's office right now because, because it's a Saturday. So everyone's home and this is a private room. <laughs> it's really hot right now. I just turned off the air conditioner, but anyway, um, so, um, I looked at that one, but it was full price, whereas this one was half price because half the year has elapsed. So I was like, well, I'll go with this one, even though the other one is more tarot focused. But I also, what I didn't like about that is it had the cards on like the, the layout of the cards on there. And I don't like that because I want to do my own readings, um, and having the cards, having a predetermined layout, um, doesn't work for me. I mean, I like I like to see other people's uh, layouts and stuff. And if a book is going to have a, a you know here a sample uh, tarot spread for this deck, blah blah blah. I I want to see what the layout is. But if it's like a planner type thing, I want to be able to. I need a space where I can draw out my own. Um, either draw out my own or do what I'm doing in this one, where I'm just writing. I'm just writing each thing like this you know, just writing it, not even, um, putting the layout because all the layouts for these are just a three card reading. Um, and since I'm doing two, three card readings a day, um, the other book also would be a bit irritating for me to use. Um, but what I did find out later was that the reason why that other, uh, um, planner is full price is because it actually starts when you buy the book. So if I had bought it this month, it actually, it would send July, starting July, 2022, and then it would be a full year. So I didn't know that. Um, and if I had known that before, I probably would have gotten that book, even though it has, uh, the spread layouts when I, I don't like the spread layouts. Um, I probably would have, um, but I'm going to keep using this one. Uh, because I bought it <laughs> and I'm going to use it till the end of the year and then I'm going to reassess what I want to do for my tarot uh, daily monthly uh, tarot readings for um, for next year so this has been an insanely long video I I'm gonna check I think it's past 40 minutes yeah it's like past 40 minutes um, so uh, yeah, that is what I am doing for my planner slash uh, spiritual uh, journals. Um, this is kind of going on the wayside. This is going to be kind of a, just a long-term thing that I, I, if I want to, I will uh, recreate these in uh, Microsoft Word or Photoshop or whatever and print them off and put them in here. Um, so uh, this was my super old one that was really cool but absolutely useless for me. <laughs> um, this is my planner, daily planner, just, you know, to plan things. And uh, um, this is working for me. I've had to tweak things. I did a whole mid-year rework of this. Hopefully for the rest of this year, this layout works for me. And it takes up so much less paper because let me see, this is all of, this is all of July, right? And in my old system, the way I was doing it before, this is June. Like, I can't tell if you can see the difference, but it's like a massive difference. This is way thicker. And that's why uh, after six months, this, this thing was full. Whereas I feel like I could fit a full year easily when it's this thin. So yeah, I just like to streamline things as much as possible. <laughs> you know, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, um, so that's my just daily planner and I leave it out, uh, open kind of, uh, like, you know, I, I usually leave it on uh, a page like this. I leave it like this on my desk 
uh, right next to where I'm working. Uh, and that's why it's all kind of scuffed up on the edges because uh, it kind of moves around a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that is my daily um, practical planner. And this is what I am using to record my daily uh, tarot readings, monthly readings, things like that. I'm not using this to record any special readings that I do. In that instance, I may actually go ahead and do what I've been doing with my other journal. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I might change that around. Uh, I might try to find, I might uh, get their other just journal um, like this because it is, it's super nice paper. Um, so I might do something like that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.